if in this crossroad we we kind of go back to our business as usual um typical government responses in the way that we do things is that we will build a lot of gray infrastructure um that means that we will probably interrupt more uh habitat um our habitat is already incredibly fragile in wales we don't have a lot left um that we really can afford to destroy more of it. So I think there'll be huge investment and get people back to work, but not in a way that's nature friendly. It'll be gray infrastructure. In Wales, there's also a particular risk that um, there's gonna be a lot of investment in renewables. And renewables are fantastic because they help with our decarbonization goals. But what we sometimes forget is that there's also a corresponding nature crisis. And green energy isn't always green. So for example, renewables aren't necessarily green when they are at a huge scale without any monitoring um, and without um, a good understanding of what it will do because we could essentially be ruining um, the habitat of a lot of wildlife. And what I think we're almost at a danger of is if we go down that route without doing it in an integrated way, in a way that we really think about it, in a way that's informed by uh, monitoring, for example, is that we could tackle the climate crisis and be left with an almost more dangerous nature crisis.